special thanks to uh, Chancellor Chan Sanders White for letting us be here today. And most importantly to the staff and students of Durham Public Schools. Thank you all so very much for being here with us. In two weeks time, our year-round schools will welcome their first students of the 2014-15 school year. And all of our other schools will follow suit in August. With some 33,000 students soon to be walking through our halls, this is an exceptionally busy time of year. Our new superintendent must hit the ground running, and I know Dr. Lum is ready to do just that. Dr. Lum is particularly well suited to tackle some of the toughest issues facing our district. At the state level, there are budget fights in Raleigh and multiple pieces of legislation that threaten to undermine our teachers and our public schools. Locally, there are, there are a lot of gaps that we must address. Um, in particular, gaps in academic student learning with an emphasis on literacy. Dr. Lum brought innovative, results-driven programs to our district when he was here before as an assistant superintendent for instruction that helped our district reach its goal at that time of 95% of third graders reading on grade level. We also face the challenge of ending disparities in student discipline and out-of-school suspension. Dr. Lum led the development of Lakeview School, the district's alternative school setting, to prevent an interruption in student instruction for suspended students. We need to strengthen Lakeview, keep students on track academically, modify behavior, address underlying causes of behavior, and reduce out-of-school suspension, all without lowering standards for student behavior. Dr. Lum has experience in this arena and has worked with Marion Wright Edelman of the Children's Defense Fund as the champion of their End the School to Prison Pipeline campaign. We also must take care of the social and emotional needs of our students. Dr. Lum began his career as an exceptional children's teacher and has widespread experiences working with emotionally troubled youth. Dr. Lum understands the profound impact that social and emotional skills have on school success. In addition, we absolutely must position Durham Public Schools as the best choice for Durham's families. And that's gonna take some real focus on our programming, our image, our message, and how we interact with families and our community. We challenge Dr. Lum to help us demonstrate the value our education system has for children from all backgrounds and all ranges of talent and ability. The Board of Education chose Dr. Lum as our next superintendent for a reason, because we truly believe he is the leader who can face those challenges and move Durham Public Schools into a new era of growth and success. He has roots in this city. He believes in the people and the potential of Durham Public Schools and of Durham. Why, we didn't even have to pay any moving expenses for Dr. Lum because all he had to do was throw a few things in the back of his pickup truck and just drive on home. <laughs> and while a lot of pro basketball fans across this country are following with excitement the return of LeBron James to the Cleveland Cavaliers basketball team, in Durham there is no homecoming more exciting than the return of Dr. Lum to his home team, Durham Public Schools. Bert has ex extensive experience in this district as an assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction. In fact, he was here when J.D. Clement Early College High School, where we are standing this morning, was first conceived. And look how far they have come. For the second year in a row, our preliminary results indicate that high early college high school will have a 100% graduation rate. We believe Dr. Lum instinctively knows that kind of success only comes when the right people are working together to foster a superior and nurturing learning environment for our students. He is an inclusive, respectful leader. Immediately after the board announced his selection as superintendent, oh my gosh, we began getting emails and texts and phone calls and consistent words of congratulation from all across this community, from all sectors and segments of this community. He has deep and wide networks of relationships. 
that will help him be our superintendent. That spirit of collaboration is another reason why we chose Bert. Because as passionate as he is about education, he is equally passionate about restoring trust and partnerships among our staff and beyond. He understands the value of working as a team of equals and can advance a we're in this together culture in our schools district and ideally in our community. For the city of Durham to fully realize its renaissance, our citizens must have individual and collective confidence and ownership of our public schools. Let me thank all of our board members, past and present, who stepped up to the task of selecting a new superintendent with determination and resolve. I also want to thank our entire community, parents, guardians, teachers, staff, volunteers, citizens, who shared your thoughts with us about what you thought we needed in our next superintendent. I believe we heard you and I believe we got it right. True to his name, Bert is the man. Before I turn it over to Superior Court Judge Elaine M. O'Neill Bushfan, who's going to swear in and install Dr. Lum, we have a student who graduated last year from early college and will be entering North Carolina Central University this year as a junior. She is going to sing a song for us. Lester, what was your first name? Dariah Lester is going to sing a lovely song for us, and thank you for entertaining us this morning. No problem. Thank you. I want to leave my footprints on the sands of time. No, there was something bad, meant something bad I left behind. When I leave this world, I'll leave no regrets. Leave something to remember so they won't forget that I was here. I lived, I loved, I was here. I did, I've done everything that I wanted and it was more than I thought it would be i will leave my mark so everyone will know i was here i want to say i live each day until i die and know that i meant something in somebody's life the hearts i have touched will be the proof that i've lived that i've made a difference and this world will see i was here everybody to our mayor. I saw our mayor. Our chancellor, who I had the opportunity to swear in not too long ago. All of our school board members, families and friends, my family out here as well, <laughs> and friends. I got a, an email from my sister last week, and I called her Bert, asking me to, uh, saying that Bert wanted me to swear him in this morning. And I've started a new rotation in Raleigh, which I'll be headed to. And I could not think of a better honor. And the place, this is where I graduated. This school, this building, is where I received my math degree from. There's something going on in Durham, particularly in education. With our new chancellor, Bob Ingram over at, at, um, at Durham Tech, and now my friend, 
And the one thing, the one constant about these people is that they are people of faith. And I know there's a separation of church and state, but as long as it doesn't infringe upon my constitutional rights, I'm going to talk about God <laughs> and Jesus and what he has done. And he is a man of faith. He believes in God and his almighty power. And I'm so glad that he brought you back home. And I just pray God's blessings upon you on this endeavor. And your daughter's here this morning to hold your Bible. So if you will come over, we will do this. You place the left hand on the Bible and raise your right and repeat after me. I and say your name. I, Bert Lum. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. And maintain. And maintain. The constitutions and laws. The constitutions and laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the constitution and laws. And the constitution and laws. Of North Carolina. Of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of my office. Of my office. As superintendent of the Durham Public Schools. As superintendent of the Durham Public Schools. That in the discharge. So th th that, that in, in the discharge. Discharge. Of said duties. Of said duties. I will fairly. I will fairly. And diligently. And diligently. Consider all issues. Consider all issues. Coming before. Coming before the Durham Public Schools, the Durham Public Schools, so that every student, so that every student is provided with, is provided with an equal opportunity to learn, an equal opportunity to learn, and so that each school, and so that each school provides an environment, provides an environment in which every student, in which every student is encouraged, is encouraged, and can reasonably be expected and reasonably can be expected to realize to realize his or her his or her maximum maximum educational educational potential potential without regard without regard to their to their or my or my place of residence place of residence within Durham County within Durham County so help me God so help me God and he will Thank congratulations you. Dr. Love Uh, this is not part of my comments, but after Judge O'Neill, and thank you, Judge O'Neill, for uh, coming today and administering to me the oath of office. And coming here to Washington, having been the superintendent of the Archdiocese of Washington Catholic Schools, we do a lot of praying. <laughs> and um, they said, well, Bert, you're not going to be able to pray when you get to Durham. And I said, you're wrong. <laughs> we do a lot of praying. Chairman Carter, members of the board, Judge O'Neill, invited guest, uh, Mayor Bell, Chancellor, especially our students, uh, teachers, principals, parents, administrators, Durham Public Schools. Nelson Mandela said education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And on the Durham Public Schools website it says, our goal is that every student will graduate prepared for career, college, and life. Our students are going to succeed in all walks of life, from community, college, to university, to the armed forces, and straight into the workforce. In Durham Public Schools, we recognize that each student has unique needs and strengths and goals, and we help each student find their way so that they can say, I'm ready. More simply stated, the goal is every student who walks across the stage at graduation is prepared to follow their dreams. No student should ever have to settle for less. We know that the dream is as diverse as the 33,000 students who attend our schools. We know that achieving this goal, realizing this dream is not magic and there are no easy answers, but we do know how to achieve the dream. And I believe that we have the necessary tools to accomplish this task. We have parents who are determined that their children receive the very best education. We have talented teachers and dedicated 
teachers and administrators who readily go the extra mile. We have a community that will make it happen. And from kindergarten to 12th grade, we have students who want to learn, who want to achieve, and who want to be successful. And it all begins in kindergarten. Every child learning to read before, they, before the end of second grade. The focus is on reading because without knowing how to read, all other doors to learning and success are closed. And we know that learning to read is not enough. We can teach children to read the words and understand the words, but without the rich and deep experiences and success in language and math and science, social studies, physical education, foreign language, music and art, they will not be able to pass the test. The primary task in middle school is to provide a rich curriculum that gives every student the opportunity to put into practice what they learned in elementary school. We need to teach our middle school students how to study, how to organize their learning, how to conduct research and adopt and use language, concepts, constructs, and vocabulary that is specific to each academic discipline. More than anything else, middle school learning will prepare our students for success in high school. In high school, we must provide every student with the courses and curricular and experiences that will prepare them to be successful in high school and college. This has to happen in every one of our high schools, from Jordan to Northern to Lakeview to the City of Medicine Academy. And how will we know we will succeed? Parents will know. It's when their children are thriving, learning, and preparing for adulthood in a safe school. Teachers will know when their students are fully engaged and authentically engaged in their learning. Teachers will know when they evaluate their students every day and at the end of the term. And how will we know? Student achievement will increase. Graduation rate will increase. Suspensions will decrease. Dropout rate will decrease. We are on the steps of the Josephine Dobbs Clement Early College High School. This high school is testament to what the community can do to ensure that all students graduate from high school prepared. This high school is testament to the fact that our students, no matter what community or neighborhood they come from, are bright, motivated, and determined to succeed in high school, college, and career. I want to thank the Board of Education for bringing me on board. You made it possible for me to realize my dream. During the selection process, someone said to me, if you don't get to be the superintendent in Durham, there are several other superintendencies in the area that are vacant. And I said, no, not for me. Durham Public Schools is where I want to be. This is my community, and this is my home. I know I'm not from here. My accent is a little strange to some, but I'm Durham by adoption. And as my colleague once said to me, you're not from here, but you ought to be. <laughs> so I want to thank everyone for coming out this morning, and I look forward to working with you. There is uh, the word that I've heard in several different places in the last couple of days is there's a renaissance in Durham, and Durham Public Schools is going to be part of that renaissance. Thank you.